Now, China should hit its GDP growth target of 7.5% this year. Well, this is according to the World Bank Group President Yim, Kong, Yim Jong Kim. He has warned that rising interest rates in emerging markets is a response to reports that the U.S. is preparing to scale back its quantitative easing program, show that significant risk do still remain. While well, we caught up with Liu Gejin, who is the dean at the China Africa International Business School at the World Economic Forum in Dalian, China, on his views of the China's growth strategy. China grows fast economically. It has become uh, number two biggest economy in the world. And uh, naturally, and China attracts a lot of attention from outside the world. Uh, and uh, during the process, and uh, uh, that is so very important for the outside world to have a proper understanding of emerging China and vis-a-vis -vis for Chinese people to have a better understanding of the outside world. Uh, because uh, uh, what, what on my mind is that uh, mutual understanding between the Chinese people and the people of the world are so very important. Otherwise, they would have misunderstanding. And, uh, but currently, China's uh, economic strength has uh, not automatically uh, turned out to be uh, our uh, navigation, uh, I mean, the, the discourse of, of China. So uh, we need to do more in people-to-people -people communication and understanding. Mm -hmm. And that, of course, is, is always critical across the board. But when it comes to China, because of the power of the nation, because of the, uh, I suppose you could call it, a growing middle class, there is a fear uh, that the world in, in 40 years' time perhaps could be, you know, Mandarin speaking and, mm. and China wants to impose its culture on the rest of the world. Is that true? Well, I think uh, that fear of China is uh, baseless and uh, is mainly out of, uh, I mean, lack of knowledge about China and the Chinese people, Chinese culture and the Chinese government's policy. Uh, in the first place, we made it very clear and very, very, very serious that uh, China will not be a, a superpower and China will not seek a dominant, uh, I mean, uh, controlling power over the world affairs and will uh, stick to the basic principle of non-interference with internal affairs of other countries and will not uh, try to seek uh, to establish a kind of uh, uh, spheres of influence. Uh, I think these are basic uh, Chinese foreign policy and the principles China are, are going to follow when we deal with uh, outside world. Uh, you know, because, uh, you know, at the moment, uh, I think my understanding from, uh, judging from my experiences uh, in, in Africa and in other parts of the world, uh, is that uh, currently uh, the, the influence of, of, of uh, uh, cultural and uh, social values uh, from the Western countries like uh, Western European countries, United States of America are still prevailing. Uh, in outside world and uh, uh, China uh, needs to do more to let uh, you know the world people to understand us perfectly well.